Thank you, Angela. The annual MLK Day Parade is happening today in downtown St. Louis. And Fox 2's Laura Simon live outside of the old courthouse where things get started in just a few hours. Good morning to you, Laura. Good morning, Blair and Ty. Despite this rain coming down this morning, the 54th annual Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. March will be taking place out here today. The committee who organizes this works to drive out racism, poverty, and also violence here in the city of St. Louis. They also will be here to promote voter registration, but things will get started here at nine this morning out at the old courthouse stairs. So that's where things will get started. Then a march and motorcade will travel through Dr. Martin Luther King Boulevard in North St. Louis. Participants will drive their cars from the historic old courthouse downtown to the interfaith service, which will be starting at 11 this morning at the Sun Theater. You might remember people were in their cars the last couple of years because of COVID. Mayor Tachara Jones, as well as Congresswoman Cori Bush are expected to make remarks today on the courthouse stairs. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was a Baptist minister and one of the most notable leaders of the U.S. Civil Rights Movement. He was assassinated in 1968. In 1983, President Ronald Reagan signed MLK Day into law designated the third Monday in January as a federal holiday. According to the National Museum of African American History and Culture in 1994, President Bill Clinton signed the MLK Jr. Federal Holiday and Service Act into law expanding the holiday for not just remembering Dr. King, but for continuing his legacy of community service, interracial cooperation, and youth anti-violence initiatives. A group called Social Change will be providing free food out here to the community for people who decide to come out here today. Vaccines will also be administered from 11 to 2 this afternoon, but the march itself will be going on from 9 this morning till 11. Reporting live downtown this morning, Laura Simon, Fox 2 News.